Measuring the frequency response of your loudspeakers in your listening room can help identify peaks and dips in frequency response that could color the music that you are hearing. It will also temper your expectations of what your speakers are capable of. For instance, if your loudspeaker's bass response declines rapidly after 100 Hz, do not expect room-shaking bass. If it has pronounced peaks above 3000 Hz, expect some liveliness in treble response. Measuring the frequency response of what you are hearing at the listening position enables you to determine how the room is affecting the sound that you are hearing. By comparing the frequency response of your speakers with that from your listening position, you might be able to adjust the toe-in angle of your speakers to increase or decrease high frequency response. Or you might move the speakers forward or backward, or your listening position forward or backward to improve bass response. If you use a subwoofer to augment the low frequency response of your main speakers, you can use frequency measurements at the listening position to facilitate adjustment of the crossover frequency and volume level so that the overall sonic presentation is smooth and linear over the entire frequency range. We will be using two smartphone apps, one on a tablet, the other on a smartphone. If you only have one Android device, both apps can be run simultaneously on a single device. These apps are available from the Google Play Store. We will be using the Signal Generator app to generate a range of frequencies. I will be using a Bluetooth connection to send these signals to the music streamer and DAC of my music system. A mini jack to RCA cable from your smart device to one of the line inputs of your amplifier will work just as well. We will also be using a spectrum analyzer app to measure and record the signal level of the frequencies used in the frequency sweep test. Not all spectrum analyzer apps support the use of an external microphone. Spectroid is one app that does. Spectrum analyzer apps use a mathematical algorithm called Fast Fourier Transform. This transforms information from one domain to another. In this application, it transforms information from the time domain to the frequency domain. These apps use the processing power of your smart device to do these calculations. The bottom trace measures the signal level and frequency in real time. The top trace remembers the signal level at each frequency during the frequency sweep. This top trace is an approximation of your speaker's frequency response. You can use the internal microphone of your smart device, however its frequency response might be limited to the speech band. If you find measurements falling off after about 4000 Hz, this is most likely due to the limitation of the internal microphone. I will be using a calibrated microphone by Dayton Audio meant for use with smart devices. This plugs into the combination headphone microphone jack of your smart device. Let's now measure the loudspeaker frequency response. I will be using a tripod at a distance of approximately 12 inches from the speaker drivers so that the microphone captures most of the direct sound from the speakers rather than indirect sound reflected from room surfaces. I'll be setting the spectrum analyzer options as follows. Under audio, I'll be setting it to unprocessed. And I will be enabling the peak hold feature. And this is what will remember the frequency response at each frequency.
Let's now measure the frequency response at the listening position. save the screenshots and label them for future reference. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you were able to find some useful information to help improve the performance of your audio system and enhance your music listening experience.